As we know, every process defines some of the activities that needs to be done. Let's now discuss the activities defined for capacity management. Some activities in the capacity management process are reactive, while others are proactive. The proactive activities of capacity management should include preventing performance issues by taking necessary actions before they occur, producing trends of the current component utilization and estimating future requirements, using trends and thresholds for planning upgrades and enhancements. Proactive activities also include modeling and trending the predicted changes in IT services and identifying the changes that need to be made to services and components of the IT infrastructure and applications to ensure that appropriate resource is available and ensures that upgrades are budgeted, planned and implemented before SLAs and service targets are breached or performance issues occur. Other proactive activities include actively seeking to improve service performance wherever it is cost justifiable and tuning and optimizing the performance of services and components. The reactive activities of capacity management should include monitoring, measuring, reporting and reviewing the current performance of both services and components, responding to all capacity related threshold events and instigating corrective action reacting to and assisting with specific performance issues. For example, the service desk may refer incidents of poor performance to technology management, which will employ capacity management techniques to resolve them. In the next slide, we will look at the sub-processes of capacity management. In this slide, we will learn about the sub-processes of capacity management in detail. Business Capacity Management This sub-process translates business needs and plans into requirements for service and IT infrastructure, ensuring that the future business requirements for IT services are quantified, designed, planned and implemented in a timely fashion. This can be achieved by using the existing data on the current resource utilization by the various services and resources to trend, forecast, model or predict future requirements. These future requirements come from the service strategy and service portfolio detailing